Well, I canceled my pre-order for the R5, and this is why. What is up everybody? My name is Jonathan and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to be talking about why I canceled my pre-order for the R5 and what I believe Canon is in the midst of doing right now. If you were like I was about a week ago, I was sitting and I was waiting, waiting, still waiting for my R5. And I didn't fully understand why I didn't get my camera in. I was fifth on the list. I should have received it right when the company had gotten the cameras in. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So probably like many of you, I had called the company to express my frustrations. But in the midst of my conversation with the guy on the phone, he had told me that he had his own frustrations with Canon because they were actually not calling them back or telling them why they didn't receive one of their 50 pre-orders for the camera. Apparently, this company is not alone in their frustrations with Canon because these companies haven't received even a fraction or maybe no pre-orders whatsoever. And so it got me thinking, is Canon gonna do a total recall on the R5 in order to fix the overheating issue? Maybe you're calling me a theorist and maybe you're calling me a little bit crazy, but I'm still speculating that Canon is probably gonna do a recall of the R5. This is why Germany, the whole country of Germany, only received 70 cameras in total. They have one of the largest stores, which is in Belgium, who only received seven cameras in total. So what does this mean for us? Well, we may have to wait a little bit longer for this camera. I think those who had pre-ordered it, like I did, they may be waiting till November. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing, and we have to keep this in mind that they're gonna try to fix the issue. And that, that's the biggest thing about this. This camera could be the greatest camera of all time right now. The, a small mirrorless camera like this RP, in which can do amazing things. It can have 8K RAW, it can have 4K 120, 4K 60. It will probably last you for the next nine years uh, because it will never go out of date. Um, the resolution will just be so above and beyond where any other mirrorless camera is right now. And so you have to keep in mind, is it worth the wait? And I would absolutely 100% say yes. The biggest gripe that I had about all this is that Canon sold this camera as a videographer's camera. When in all actuality, it was more for those who do photography. And that's perfectly fine, but if they were just upfront in the beginning saying this is an amazing stills camera, but you'll have limited opportunities to be able to use 8K or 4K 120, and I would have been perfectly fine with that, and I believe that other people would have been perfectly fine with that if they knew that this camera would have limitations with the video. Because a lot of people, in all honesty, are buying this camera because of the specs, because of what it can do. I'm just canceling my pre-order because you know what, right now I can't use this camera, especially in the work field that I'm in, doing a lot of professional shoots or a lot of weddings and whatnot. I can't rely on a camera that is going to fail me. And so right now I have bought a C200 and I'll do a video on that and I would love, I, I'm so excited to be able to use it. That's what I'm filming on right now, um, but I need something that is going to last me throughout the workday and that I can rely on. And the R5 just wouldn't have been able to do that for me. Now that's not saying that here in the future when they fix all the, the bugs and whatnot that I won't, I won't buy it, I will. I just wanna wait and see if they work everything out. Because I think they understand that a firmware won't do it. A firmware update won't do it they're gonna need something else. And so I'm hoping that even if the body has to get a little bit bigger, a little bit more bulkier, that they put in a small fan or something to help with the overheating issue. So let me know what you guys think. Am I making a bigger deal about this? Am I making something out of nothing? I don't believe I am, but maybe I'm a little bit biased more towards myself, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm excited about the things that are going to come. I'm gonna be doing more cinematic work 
with my C200 just to test it out and that's going to be exciting so you guys will be able to see that process. So I will see you guys in the next episode and I love y'all.